Okay, hi class, hi students. Uh, my name is John Olazabal. I'm and to, well, I'm your English teacher, and today we're gonna see the topic number two, that is adjectives and order of an order of adjectives. Okay. Now I'm gonna share my my screen to continue with the class. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna share you what we what we're gonna uh, what we're gonna do today. Okay, and this is this one. This is the, the file, the today's file. That is topic two, adjectives and order of adjectives. Okay, first of all, we're gonna have to circle or mark the correct answer, right? We have uh, approximately 10 exercises of, of kind of that. And then we're gonna have uh, the order, right? The order of adjectives. Finally, we have an evaluation. What is the meaning of that words? Okay. And finally, you have your beautiful, beautiful homework. Okay. Where you have to choose and mark or choose or circle. Yeah. Mark or circle, in, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. The, the most important is that you learn and understand the topic. Okay. Having said this, we're going to continue with the class. First of all, before that, we have to uh, we have to do the, the theory, right? La teoría. Bueno, tenemos que hacer primero la teoría y luego los ejercicios. Entonces, voy a compartir mi pantalla. Yeah. We, we are in the topic two. Topic two, that is adjectives and order of adjectives. We are secondary to teacher. What is the what is an adjective? What what is an adjective? Hmm? Well, an adjective. An adjective. It's a word. It's a word that describe that describes describes or modifies remember that describes or modifies a noun or pronoun okay it's a word that is that word that describes that describes or modifies a noun or pronoun the order what is the order The order is the next one, okay? First, okay, wait a moment, guys, wait a moment. Okay, first of all, we have a determiner. Yeah, determiner, un determinante. Number two, it's opinion. Number three, it's a, a size. Size. Number four, it's a shape. Number five, it's a color. Number six, it's a origin. Where is that? Where it from? Where is it from? Right. Number. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's determiner, opinion, size, shape. Oh, wait. Before shape, it's age. Okay, age. Then we have origin. Material. What it made. What is make it? What is make of or what is make from, right? Material, purpose, purpose, and the finally it's the noun, right? The noun. Everything of each one of them describe a noun or, or a pronoun. Remember that. That is the 
the definition, okay, the definition of an adjective. Teacher, what is a what is an uh, size? Okay, wait a moment. The determiner it's un determinante like a, a or a or and um the da this uh, that this and those that is, those one are determiners determiners okay opinion for example great terrible um pretty pretty a uh, lovely silly beautiful um horrible difficult so those ones are huge sides it's huge big large a uh, tiny enormous little H, H are ancient, new, young, old, shape, it's triangular, triangular, square, square, round, flat, rectangular those one are the kind of shape color we have black yellow blue pink reddish gray Origin, we have British, Chinese, French, American, Greek, Italian, Etc. Etc. Material is wooden, madera, uh, silk, metal, paper, copper, cotton, leather, etc. Etc. Purpose is writing, cooking. Running, the washing. Okay, those ones are the modifies. Okay, this is the order. Now, uh, here I gonna, uh, I'm gonna write. Well, I'm gonna draw. A beautiful, beautiful line, okay? Okay, teacher. Teacher, here. Teacher, here I have my note, okay. A ver, wait a moment, please. Oh my God, wait a moment, please. So, teacher, here I have my noun or pronoun, okay? So, here...
Okay, wait a moment, please. Wait a moment. So son, recuerden que son ocho, ¿ya? No, son nueve, nueve, Dios mío. Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Ya, ahí lo arreglamos, ¿ya? Pero primero tenemos que ver ¿Cómo empieza? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál empezaba primero? ¿Cuál iba al fondo? Al fondo primero, el número uno. Eran los determinantes, ¿no? Determiner. Ok, aquí lo vamos a poner, ¿ya? Uy, no. Eran los determiners. Ok, students. Teacher, ahí es number one. Yes. Yes, of course. Ya tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Siete, ocho, nueve, y ahí están. Ahorita lo arreglamos, ahorita. Número dos, ¿cuál era? Número dos era opinions. Opinions. Remember that, please. Opinions. Número tres, ¿cuál era? Size, el tamaño, el tamaño. Número cuatro era age, la edad. Número cinco era el shape, la forma. Número seis era el color, color. Número siete, ¿qué era? Material. Número ocho era... Eh, el, números, perdón, material, no, color, color, color viene el origen, sorry, acá, ori, origen, origen, luego el origen viene el material, luego el material terminamos con el, purpose, el propósito, ¿no? Color, origen, material, purpose. ¿Ya? Teacher, ¿cuál es el number one? Ya, ahora te lo vamos a poner. Uh, Antonio, Paolo, sus cámaras, please. Turn on your cameras. I need to see you if you are here or not, because it's been very important to me. 
please. Ya. Este es número dos, número tres, número cuatro, número cinco, número seis. Antonio, please turn on your camera. Y ya está. Esta es su línea del tiempo. Hasta ahí todo claro. Uh, sí. Okay, thank you for your answer, Paolo. Antonio, please turn on your camera because I need to know if you are there. Okay, because I'm gonna decrease your points of if not. Sí, profe, solo que lo llevé a arreglar porque estaba fallando. Okay, okay, but but if that happens again, just tell me, please, because I need to know that. Okay, please, please. Okay, don't forget that, teacher. Lo then we have the difference between adjectives with ed, with ed and ing. ED and ING. ED, we use this, or we use this termination when the, the adjectives describe a feeling or A state of a person, yeah, of people, of people in general, yeah. Instead, ing, we use this termination when the adjective describes a um, an object, an object or situation, okay? Teacher, example, okay, example. I feel, uh, I don't know, wait a moment, I, let me. I feel tired, teacher, I feel tired. Uh, wait, with my job with my activities in general. Teacher, me siento cansado con mis actividades. Okay. Another one. Example. Um, he is um, confused. Confused with the class. Yeah. Teacher, how is that? Uh, wait a moment. I'm gonna explain a little. For example, Mm. We use determination when the adjectives describe an object or situation. Okay? For example, uh, to work in buildings is tiring. It's tiring. Okay, to work in buildings is tiring. Okay, teacher, another example, another one. Uh, uh, 
what is the meaning? Something that could be uh, something that could be confusing, for example. English teacher. To study English is confusing. You can see the difference. When we want to describe when we want to describe a situation or an, an object, we use ing. But when we want to um, refer or mean to a person or people, we use ed. Teacher, sometimes note. Sometimes in my use in, in my use where pongo sometimes we can use ing in on people but for only but on but only for describing describing a personality okay personality example teacher teacher my sister or my cousin don't want don't want to play with me he is boring teacher mi primo no quiere jugar conmigo él es, él es un aburrido no Él es Él está, está describiendo su personalidad. Solo en esos momentos van a poder usar el ING en las personas, porque normalmente usan el ED para describir cómo se siente un estado o un sentimiento, ¿no? Porque normalmente tú te sientes aburrido solamente en un momento, ¿no? No te sientes aburrido todo el día, no todos los días, no. Solamente en un momento. Pero también puedes usar el, el ING para describir personalidades, como es él. Another one, another ejemplo, teacher. My sister, mi hermana is annoying. Because she doesn't uh, she doesn't let me uh, in peace. No. Teacher, mi hermana es molestosa. Su personalidad es así. ¿Por qué ella no me deja en paz? ¿Ok? Entonces ya tenemos ya tenemos ya tenemos ya la, la teoría para hacer los ejercicios. Hasta ahí todo claro, Santiago, Santiago, Antonio, Paolo. Eh, sí. Bueno, ya yo no se le puedo entrar, pero Samuel, puedo explicar de nuevo. Dime, dime, eh, Santiago, ya está bien. Sí, creo que he entrado, entonces creo que tres minutos. Ok. Ok, ok, don't worry. Ok, now we're going to uh, resolve our file. Vamos a resolver la ficha. Ya. Yeah. Okay, now you can see our file that is the topic two adjectives and order an order of adjectives, and we have the okay, we're gonna evaluate the uh, so well first of all I first of all I have your I don't know if you can see my my camera, but I know I have now. I have I now have your uh, registros. Yo tengo sus registros ya, así que eh, hoy eh, voy a empezar a llenarlos ya para tener sus notas, para que tengan sus notas y los voy a poder evaluar ya. Ya ya eh, bueno notas del, del primer trimestre ya les debería haber entregado, pero hay algunos hay algunos alumnos que me han entregado tarde, recién a, a, ayer y el martes, entonces tengo que eh, Tengo que revisarlo para poder enviar su registro, ¿ya? Ustedes. 
Entonces, eh, a ver, ya voy a evaluar. Santiago, me llegaste hasta ahora de hoy día, ¿no? Sí, profesor, puse que no sé qué me ha pasado con el internet, no. Ya, no, no. Ceballos, Antonio. Y eso es el inicio. Antonio sí está presente. Present y Paolo. Paolo, tú eres nuevo, ¿verdad? Uh, sí. Paolo Emeterio, ya. Ya, pero Paolo, ya solamente Santiago llegó tarde. Ya, ¿saben algo de... ¿Saben algo de María? O Alexandra. Ah. Yo allí... Ya, ya está bien. Eh, ya, vamos a hacer los ejercicios, ya. Como les decía, dice número uno. Número uno, eh, dice, reach each exercise and then circle the correct answer for each one. Lee cada ejercicio y luego encierra la respuesta correcta para cada uno, ¿no? Por ejemplo, número uno, dice, you look really, why don't you go to bed? It's describing a person. You. It means to you. Yeah. It means to you. It means to you, okay? You is a person. So, uh, it's tired or tidy? Tired. Tired, muy bien. Tired, okay? Number two, they say, can I call you? I've got some berry, Rayita, new for you. Call you, it means to a person. Call you, it's it a person. Uh. When it means a person, it's I got some berry. I, yo, I've got some berry. Excited or exciting? Excited. 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 Number three, my neighbor is always playing loud music. It's very my neighbor. It means a person. Annoying. Annoyed. Muy bien. Number four, this is the directions where and we got lost. The directions. It means okay. a map, a kind of map. It's not a person. It's, it's, it is a kind of map. A croquis, like confusing. croquis. Confusing, nice. Number five. It, I was, I, I. It means a person. I was really surprised. That I, surprised, nice. Surprising. Number seven. Say, it's, sorry. She didn't call about car. I don't think she's interested or interesting. Interesting. Interested. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna continue with the next part. Copy, copy, please, because I need to pass, okay? Please continue, guys. Take a, take a picture, take a screenshot. Uh, what do you prefer? I don't know. List. Okay, we're going to continue. So I'm going to eliminate these ones. Okay, let's continue. Number I don't remember what nine. One, two, three, four. Seven. Number seven. Okay. Number seven. Listen, my cats get really when there's a thunderstorm. My cats. It's a person or, or an animal? Animal. Animal. So we animal. use fright, frightened or frightening? Frightening. Frightened. 
frightening. Nice, frightening, guys. Frightening. frightening. Because it is an animal. Okay. Liliana. Number eight. He said some results were really disappointed or disappointing. He said he said some. It means an object. It not means a. It means to an object. Disappointing. No? disappointing. Nice. Disappointing. 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 Let's go to Mariana. Number nine. I love my math teacher. Let I love my math teacher. Lessons with her were never it's lessons. Boring. It means lessons. Boring. Boring. No, lessons. Uh, lessons. Boring. 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 Nice. Boring. And number 10, that that shop never has a, any customers. I'm, Regina is still here. I'm. Surprised. 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 Okay. Okay, perfect. Now uh, we finish this part. So copy, copy, or take a screenshot or continue with the class, guys, please. Copy. It's already done or not yet? Listo. Okay, thank you for your answer, Santiago. Okay, thank you, thank you. We're gonna continue. Okay, we have the number two. This is put put the following objects in the correct order to describe each now. Yeah. Pon los siguientes adjetivos en el orden correcto para describir cada sustantivo. ¿Se acuerdan que hicimos una, una lista y luego hicimos como una línea de tiempo? Esto es. For example, dice acá, mug, cloth, este es el nombre, este es el, el, el sustantivo. Cloth, movie, boots, house, dress, tea, table, sweet, insects. For example, dice, ceramic, lovely, old. Mm, teacher, I don't know, I don't exactly what is this. All French, wonderful. American, new, amazing. Rain, red, new. For example, uh, teacher number 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is ceramic. Lovely, lovely, what is a color, origin, material, purpose? What is uh, lovely is opinion? Opinion, nice, Paolo. Opinion, okay. He is lovely, teacher. Es encantador, es ceramic. Uh, old. Ceramic is material. Material, nice. Ceramic. Old. All objects. Age. Age. Nice. Age. And like this, how Antonio said, we have to complete this, this bots, these big bots, actually. Okay. Number two, this is a clock. Old. Another one. Age. Old is age. Okay. Wait a moment. Okay, okay, continue. All is age. French. French, what is? Origin, nice. French. Wonderful. Uh, opinion. Opinion, nice. Wonderful. And then we have all, okay, number three, it's, it's number one. Two, it's already done. Number three, American New Amazing. Movie. American, it's... American Origin. Origin, nice. American. New. Uh, age. Age, muy bien. Nice, Paolo. New age. age. 
Wonderful. No, sorry. Amazing. 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 Opinion. Opinion. Nice. Amazing. Teacher is amazing. It's my opinion about it. Because not everyone thinks like you. For someone, it could be boring. But for you, it's amazing. I don't know. Okay, number four. Rain, red, new. Rain, no. Rain, red, new. Let's start with red. Red, what is? What is red? Red is color. 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 New. New is age. In age. And rain. Purpose, right? Purpose. Teacher, estas botas son para las lluvias. Para las lluvias. ¿Con, con, qué, con qué propósito son estas botas? Para las lluvias. Rain purpose. Number five. White and elegant. And this, to describe a house. White, what it is? White, what? Color. color. Nice. Elegant. Opinion. Opinion. Nice. Elegant opinion. Then we have blue, long, and expensive. Blue, what is it? What's it? What is it? Color. Color. Blue is color. Long. Eh, uh, ese era este size size. Size, nice, power. Long is size. And finally, expensive. Expensive, what is it? What is it? For you, it could be expensive, but for me, it could be cheaper or cheap. Is is that is a and it starts with O, but it's not origin. It's an opinion, teacher. The opinion because because for not because for someone it would be expensive, but for other one it could be cheap. Teacher, for one, for who? For people who have a lot of money, right? For example, this this uh, bottle, uh, for me it's normal, but for other ones, for people, for poor people who doesn't have enough money to to buy a a bottle of water, could be expensive, right? It's an opinion, so it's sub subject subjective. It is subjective, okay? It's subjective. Number seven, Anson huge. It is here. Sam, Anson, what is it? Age. Age. Nice. Anson is age. And huge. Huge is something uh, when something robust. is really big. It's really big. When something it's really big, for example, um, I don't know if you hear about uh, Cristo Redentor. Cristo Redentor, how, how is it? What is the size? It's huge, right? Huge, enormous, teacher, huge. Number eight, coffee, round, glass, small. Uh, coffee, color. Color. Coffee is color. Round. Round uh, opinion. Round is no shape. 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 Nice. Round. Nice, Santiago. Shape is the forma. The, la forma. Glass is material. 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 Small. Is small is size. Size. Per. Number nine, brown, cheap, and wool. Brown is uh, color. 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 Brown is color. Okay, perfect. Cheap is 
Chip, I told you, I told you. Opinion, nice. Because for, for someone could be, for someone could be expensive and, and for other one could be, a, sorry. And for other one could ah, be cheap. Cheap is, cheap is barato. Cheap is barato. No? barato. barato. Cheap is barato, yeah. expensive is caro. Wool, wool, wool madera. Mat mat material. Material. Uh, nice. material. Material. Wool is lana. And finally, we have black, horrible, tiny. Uh, black black color. color. Black color, nice. Horrible. Sorry, what is opinion? opinion? Opinion, because for someone could be horrible, but for other one could be beautiful. Amazing, beautiful, beautiful, handsome, tiny, gorgeous. Tiny size. Tiny size. Size, nice, size. Tiny it's it's more intense than small. Small is, is like this. Tiny is like this. Very, very small. Uh, tiny is más pequeño. Tiny is más pequeño, diminuto. It's tiny, small, tiny, small, uh, normal. Then it's tall and then it's huge. Oh, big, sorry. Big, huge, and huge. Okay. And and like this, we we finish, we finish everything. So, okay, take a picture, take a screenshot, whatever you like, how it's like. It's like a okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you three minutes, okay, for talking about our homework. Ya copien, copien. Voy ya vengo, ya. Voy a traer su, su este, ¿cómo se llama? Voy a traer un lapicero para, para apuntar su registro y su participación de hoy día, que todos han participado. ¿ya? Esta semana todos tienen 20 en participación, moral. Y ahora voy a dejar su tarea. Aunque no sé, espera, ahora un momento si hay evaluación. Sí, hay evaluación, ya chicos. Copien rápido porque ahorita voy a dejar evaluación. Chicos, ¿cómo van? ¿Ya? Y ahora sí ya puedo pasar, ¿ya? Con su evaluación. 
Sí, no, ya, pues sí. no va no a faltar tiempo, chicos. Ya le toman un screenshot y luego lo copian ya cuando descarga. ¿Ya? Acá está su evaluación de hoy día. Ay. ¿Ya? Acá es significado nada más. ¿Ya? ¿Qué significa la? ¿Qué significa angry, small, bad, good, hot, long, old, big, expensive, new, beautiful, heavy, and short? ¿Ok? Unen así con, con, con así como ejemplo. Ya, entonces voy a ir con uno. Ya, a ver. Eh, a ver, ya, aquí está. Por, por ejemplo, la, largo, ¿qué significa? Large. ¿Dónde está? O long. Large, large o long. long. A ver, va a ser mejor, ¿ya? Así. Y así cada uno va uniendo, ¿ya? Big, grande speed. Pero acá está. Okay. Eso es con el, ¿Cómo se llama con el...? Ah, no. ah, dime, tarea, dime. Esa ¿no? es la tarea, ¿no? No, eso no es la no, no tarea. La tarea es otra acá. Ahí te lo voy a dejar la tarea. Ah, creo que lo, lo, lo hacemos con el... ¿Cómo se llama? Con el... 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 Me lo mandan, ya, le toman una foto, lo hacen en su, en su, en su computadora, en Paint, me mandan una foto a, a mi WhatsApp, ya. Me dicen, Pero teacher, tarea, 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 ¿Ya? Y acá último, antes que me vayan. Esa es, tu, esa es su tarea, ¿ya? Acá tiene que marcar. Por ejemplo, la gardener uses, el jardinero usa un, o sea, esto. ¿Cómo lo describe? ¿Cómo lo describe? ¿Cuál va primero? ¿Ya? ¿Cuál va primero? Se fijan en su tabla, lo que hemos hecho acá. Y lo que hicimos también en, en PPT. ¿Ya? Con eso marco. Esto va a ser para el domingo. Hasta el domingo 28 hasta el mediodía. Ya, pero primero concéntrense en esto. Ya, a ver, voy a apagar mi cámara para que se concentren.
Chicos, estaba hablando sin micro. Ya, chicos, los que ya terminaron pueden enviármelo a mi WhatsApp, ¿ya? Yo los reviso más tarde y te puedo su nota. Se lo acaba de mandar justo ahorita. Ya, gracias. Eh, profesor. Sí, Pablo, a ver, esto lo reviso. Ah, ya, este, ¿Ya? le mando foto este, de la evaluación sí. y el otro. También, los dos tengo que hacer. Los dos tareas. ¿no? La, la, la tarea, ajá, la tarea es para el domingo. Pero si quieres, si lo haces hoy día, me lo mandan sus días nomás. Ya. Ah, ya, pero, pero la tarea. Eh, lo que hemos hecho hace un rato es ir tomando sesión ahorita. Sí, lo que está en la pantalla ahorita. Lo que está en la pantalla, el, el ejercicio ah, 3, donde dice evaluación, eso sí ahorita. Ya. Y la tarea ah, ya, me lo mandan el, al, así hasta el domingo, hasta el mediodía. Ya. Ya la tarea, la tarea es para el domingo mediodía. Bueno, chicos, ya me despido. Espero que hayan tenido la clase. Nos vemos el próximo jueves a la misma hora, diez y media. Y manden su, no se olviden mandar su tarea ya, por favor, domingo, hasta domingo mediodía, ¿eh? para mandar su tarea del, del tema 2. Del tema si no han enviado el tema 1, lo voy a considerar, pero con menos nota, ¿ya? Hasta luego, chicos, cuídense. Eh, del tema 1, este, ¿me sí. lo puede pasar? Sí, 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 me vas a acordar, en la tarde te lo envío, ¿ya? Te lo envío en la tarde. Eh, sí, ahorita te la voy a mandar la foto de lo que acaba de dejar y también te paso, le hago recordar del tema 1 que me lo pase. Sí, por favor, Pablo, ¿ya? Para enviarte el PDF. Ya. Sí, la voy a Cuídense, chicos. Hasta, hasta la otra semana. Eh, gracias. Chao. Bye.